work, but it's really worth it when it's all over with. For artist John Lane, it won't be over for a few weeks, but his Southside mural is already getting a whole lot of attention. After 100 years, the Southside landmark is getting a 21st century makeover. But at Graziano Brothers Grocery, the transformation is more about the past than the future. A while back, when Francis Graziano watched an old stucco facade come down at the Graziano Brothers Grocery, she loved the mess that was underneath. All of these beautiful original signs were exposed. The new facade she was planning could bring back the signs and more. Bring back the history, bring back the culture. And hey, while you're at it, up in the window, bring back Uncle Louie. Studying old pictures of her ancestral grocers, a light went off. What about a mural in our building? That would be very beautiful. We can, we can incorporate some of the, the original look without as much of the cost to restore that look. Enter artist John Lane. I always thought someday if we ever could do something like that, I want him to be the one to do it. Now a lot of people in these parts are familiar with Lane's work from museums to retirement homes. Yeah, she got a hold of me. That so they came up with a wraparound mural that combines heritage, art, advertising, and a little whimsy. So what we did was we um, try to emulate like the canopies and the, the large picture windows. If you look above me, you can see that we sort of replaced, painted the windows back in. People used to live upstairs. Eventually, some pedestrians will be added. Meanwhile, real life pedestrians are one of the best things about Lane's studio being on the side of a grocery store. People are really just, you know, they give you a thumbs up, they honk their horn as they're driving by, or they stop by and just tell you how much they enjoy watching the process. It's just a fun event for the whole community, really. I think that's the best part of the whole thing. Now, John says he expects to be done in about three weeks, weather permitting. He's usually there about 10, even 12 hours a day, and says he appreciates all the support from neighbors and the amateur sidewalk art critics. <laughs>